Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning, Director. I think uh, this is an important hearing, I think, to the Chairman's points. Uh, the CBO was initially established to uh, provide information to the Budget Committee and then to Congress as a whole. So certainly there's an accountability here, and I think uh, uh, examining the outcome or the outputs and examining uh, the um, effectiveness of the of CBO is important that we do that. So I appreciate you holding this. I'd like to uh, just briefly have you describe to us, uh, uh, Director Swagel, um, you know, we're calling next year like sort of the Super Bowl of, of taxes, and there's going to be a lot of discussion, a lot of proposals in regards to extending uh, provisions of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act and other areas of the uh, tax code as well. Um, you'd mentioned uh, joint tax provides revenue estimates, uh, and then you use those estimates. Could you talk as we go into that debate, could you talk about how CBO and joint tax interacts, um, who's responsible? Just, just give us a little bit more of what that, what that looks like. I think it's important for everyone to understand okay. that. No, sure thing, and, and, and thank you for asking. Um, uh, so anything that changes the Internal Revenue Code, the estimates come from JCT. Um, uh, and they show up in our cost estimates, but it, it's entirely their work. Um, in the future, as we update the baseline, then it's our responsibility to update the baseline. So for example, the, um, the electric vehicle tax credits, the initial estimate was theirs. It, it turned out that the number of dollars, you know, it quickly became apparent that there were many more dollars involved than had been in JCT's um, estimate. We updated the baseline. It happened that they redid their analysis and we just took their updated analysis in our baseline. So it is, it's an example of shared responsibilities working together. I'll just mention one other one quickly on healthcare, where the tax and the outlays are so interconnected that our health teams work very closely and fruitfully together. So for the most part, we, we, you know, we stay out of their lane for sure. Health is one where the lanes tend to merge. I think um, we're all particularly interested in uh, not only the, uh, uh, the uh, tax provision itself, but also the impact mm -hmm. on uh, individuals' behaviors, on business behaviors, and sort of the macroeconomic, how will this affect uh, revenue going forward, I think is going to be a really important uh, part of the um, discussion uh, over the next year. Can you talk uh, about that? Uh, does CBO, does joint tax look at the macro? Um, is there one particular agency that is responsible for that? Talk, talk us through that. Okay, sure. Yeah, so we, in the sense in which we're both doing that analysis, our macro teams talk to each other, but there's a sense in which we're doing it um, uh, separately as well. Anything that's in a cost estimate, it's whatever they say, that's what's going to be in the cost estimate. Um, we have to do the analysis our, ourselves as well because we have to think about the baseline in the future. And so, you know, say there's legislation in 2025, in 2026, we're gonna have to update the baseline and think about well, what's the effect of whatever's enacted on future growth, on future revenues, and that's why we do it as well. So you, you, you do, and joint tax does dynamic scoring, essentially? Uh, that's right, I mean, they, in some sense, where there's house rule requiring dynamic analysis, dynamic scoring, they would respond to that. Um, we would be doing our own analysis, but they're the ones who would do the official response. Yeah. How, uh, you know, one of the purposes of this is to examine um, uh, the accuracy of CBO estimates, and of course we're gonna be interested in joint tax as well. How well do you think CBO does uh, on uh, future esti estimates. And, um, you know, we've talked about other organizations uh, that we may look to as well that may have a slightly different outcome. Um, how would you say CBO ranks? Uh, a lot of people looking at the same information and scoring it and coming up with different outcomes. T tell us how well do you think uh, CBO does? Um, you know, I, I, I think we do pretty well on the whole, and of course, there's some areas where we, you know, we're going to do better. We're going to do worse. Um, in some sense, our analysis sometimes can be different than others because of the nature of what we do. You know, we have to work comprehensively. And I'll, I'll just use an example: our work on, um, on say, student loans, 
where other organizations don't have access to the same data we have and don't have to think through, you know, if we change the provisions of student loans, well, what does it mean for the labor market in the future? What does it mean for benefits and things like that? So instead of this, we have, you know, more information, better information, we do a different kind of analysis than say the Wharton group would do. Their work is excellent, it's just different. Yeah, I, I'm out of time. I, I wanted to ask one additional question, which um, I'd love to get to sometime. Like, are there constraints uh, on your organization that would prevent or, or, or that would result in changes with other organizations? Mm -hmm. And are there uh, changes that you would suggest we make uh, to, to help you be more accurate? But it's sorry, good. I'm out of time. Go ahead. I'll answer, I'll answer quickly. Uh, yeah, give me yeah. a quick response, please. Um, no, and, and it's something I, I'd like to come and, and talk to you more about that and get your, your feedback. We're working more on the dynamic scoring I mentioned, on longer term analysis. Um, uh, we want to be faster. The challenge is you know, getting the comprehensive information you need. We do actually, we interact with other groups. Well, with Wharton in particular, we have a very fruitful interaction with them, and you know, I respect their work more. Um, so let me, if it's okay, I'll, I'll come back and, um, and give you a, a more fulsome answer and Great. get your feedback. Uh, thank the gentleman.